So Monday was a disastrous day, and it's a it's a consequence of the knock-on effects of not providing um, Ukraine what they needed for well, for air defense artillery or not allowing them to be able to fire into Russia proper to be able to destroy the airplanes and missiles and whatever that are back within attackums range. Uh, and so we're starting to see that these, that, you know, actions or lack of actions have consequences. One of the problems that happened on Monday when Russia fired 100 missiles and about 100 drones into Ukraine is that Ukraine was doing their level best to knock them down, including sending F-16s up into the air, and this F-16 fighter pilot was killed in the process. F-16 fighter pilot Oleski Mess was post posthumously awarded the military rank of colonel. He died protecting Ukrainian skies, never forgotten. So this was his funeral. Um, and But there's more to the story here, and we need to try to understand what's going on in the story. So Oleski Mess, a Ukrainian F-16 pilot, was buried on 29 August, the day of remembrance of fallen defenders. He destroyed three cruise missiles and one UAV during his final mission on F-16 when Russians launched the largest missile and drone attack on Ukraine. And so there's pictures of the funeral. But there's potentially more to the story, and we don't know exactly how he was shot down or crashed or what exactly happened. But the Ukrainian Air Force is going to be looking into that. Ukrainian Air Force Commander Oleschuk addressed the recent F-16 crash, stating that the causes will be thoroughly investigated and that no information is being withheld. He noted that both Ukrainian leadership and U.S. partners have been promptly informed and involved in the investigation. Oleschuk criticized Ukrainian parliament member Mariana Bzula for suggesting that the F-16 might have been downed by friendly fire, accusing her of undermining both the Ukrainian Air Force and U.S. weapons manufacturers. I'm not sure how that would be undermining the Ukrainian Air Force and U.S. weapons manufacturers. Um, if it's friendly fire and it's uh, particularly if it's a, because some of the thought is that it might have been a Patriot battery that shot it down accidentally as the plane was in the air shooting the other things down. That wouldn't be undermining. That would be showing that the Patriot battery actually works really well. I, I guess weapons manufacturers by, because it could shoot down an F-16, I, I'm not sure. But the trick here isn't to jump to certain conclusions. You want to find out what the results are of the investigation. Could it have been an accident? Yes. Could it have been friendly fire? Yes. Could it have been a Russian missile? Yes. We just we just don't know what it was. Um, here it is in the Kiev post. Could the F-16 down in Ukraine on Monday have been hit by friendly fire? So the Voice of America in Ukraine quoted an anonymous military official on Thursday that the staff leadership of the armed forces of Ukraine is looking into various possibilities of the crash of a Western donated F-16 fighter aircraft on Monday within its home territory, including the possibility of friendly fire from Ukrainian air defenses. Look, that's a realistic possibility. An official statement from the AFU general staff noted only that, quote, communication was lost, unquote, with an F-16 aircraft while it was approaching the next target. As it turned out later, the plane had crashed and the pilot was killed, the statement read. The Wall Street Journal, citing comments from an unnamed U.S. official, said the incident was likely caused by pilot error after the fighter jet went down amid a massive volley. So we just, we just don't know what it is, but speculating about it is probably not all that useful. But these, okay, so there were two pilots here that had been killed. Uh, one here is uh, Ukrainian pilot Oleski Mess has died on 26 August during a massive Russian attack on Ukraine. He destroyed three cruise missiles and one attack drone. In the archive photo, Andre Juice and Oleski Moonfish Mess are conducting advocacy work to lobby Ukraine receiving F-16s. Now, F-16s are in Ukraine thanks to their work. They did a great service to their country. Eternal memory and eternal glory to the Ukrainian heroes. Aircraft are metal. People are priceless and irreplaceable. And they will not be forgotten. Thank you for your time and thank you for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine.